Okay, we have Griffith's quantum mechanics, problem 2.19. We're supposed to find the probability current, J, for the free particle wave function in equation uh, 2.94. And which direction does the probability current flow? All right. Um, so let me first, well, I'll write down the equations for J and also the, um, the wave function that he, for the free particle, that he gives us in equation 2.94. Okay, so here's J. from problem 1.14. I think we did that in a video on that one. And uh, now we need the wave function for a free particle. This is straight from equation 2.94. copy those down right okay so um, now what we need to do is just uh, start taking these derivatives and things and then um, we find what J is so if J is positive then we expect a, a current in a positive direction you know, to the right um, and if uh, J is negative then it'll go in the negative direction all right um, Oh, yeah. Before we before we start on J, let's uh, compute a couple of these derivatives. So we take the derivative of the conjugate. Okay. So we'll have this uh, A out front, and so we're going to pull down an I K, and then we get our exponential again. So we were doing the conjugate, right? So that means that this i will be a negative i, and this i up here will also be a negative i. Yeah, OK, I should pay more attention. All right, now we'll do the, the normal wave, uh, wave vector. So this time we're just, we get what I wrote before I put the minus signs in. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, so now we'll start working on J. Okay, so we need to put in the normal wave vector here, and then we need to put in this right here. Okay? So. Oh, and I guess, you know, I can be even more, um, you know, just in case A is complex, I'll put the star there to the minus. This is the conjugate of A, okay? All right, uh, so we'll be more, more correct. All right, so I'm just going to write this and then this. So there's a minus sign from right here. We have an A, A star. We have an i k, and then we have these two exponentials, which um, the only difference is this minus sign. So basically, we're dividing one by the other, and we get one. So that we can breathe a huge sigh of relief with that, and we don't have to write, use up all that ink. OK, 
Okay, so now we have a minus sign right here. And we have uh, psi star. So that's, a, that's an A conjugate. And then we put in, and remember that also puts the minus sign on this I. So hey, why not? I'll just write, now that we're done with this basically, I'll just write that out there. So we can be more clear. Okay. All right, so we wrote that. Now we need to write this. So we have an A, I, K. And then we have the same thing that happened before where these two uh, cluttered exponentials will divide out and give us one. So that's it. All right. Okay, so um, now what do we have? We have, um, I'm going to write this, well, we can, uh, all right, first let's, what we'll do is we'll combine the i's. So we'll factor out the i from these terms in here, combine it with this up here, all right, and we get a minus 1. So I'm going to put a minus sign here and then take out these i's, right? And then this minus sign will cancel with the ones inside. So this one will become a plus. All right, that's kind of messy, but um, okay. So what do we have left over when the smoke clears? H bar over two m. We have a k, and we also have the um, a a star or a star a, which is the the, um, the square of a. All right. So. Let's see what we've got now. So, so basically, did I miss? Ah, yes. Uh, these are the same term now, and we have a two that comes and cancels this two. Okay. <laughs> Gee. All right. So here we go. Um, and uh, and I think the way Griffiths wrote equation two point nine four with our wave function is he combined the waves going different directions, and he just lets k run minus or plus, depending on the direction of the wave. So our sign is kind of contained in k here, because this square here is obviously positive, mass is positive, and h bar is positive. So um, if k is positive, then j is positive too, all right? And vice versa. If k is negative and j is also negative. All right, so k kind of um, gives you the well, it's kind of the momentum, right? Of it gives you it's the wave vector. Um, it gives you the direction the wave is is traveling, and so it looks like we've shown here that the probability current will flow in the same way that the, the particle's moving. So that's good news. That seems to make sense to me. So.